Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today we're talking about activating and deactivating clips um, or notes in Ableton Live. Um, so this is a track I put together for a Glee class that I was teaching not too long ago, um, and this is what my set looked like before I bounced it down to audio. Um, and I pulled it up specifically because there are certain parts um, that I deactivated. And what deactivating does is it leaves the clip intact or the notes in the clip intact and it uh, stops Ableton from playing it. So I'm going to solo this piano track here um, and I'm going to play for you. Make sure this is stereo. I'm going to play for you um, just the piano track with the deactivated clip. So you'll notice because that clip is deactivated, nothing is happening. Now if I were to reactivate that clip, it plays. Um, so how to activate and deactivate clips. Um, you can select any section of audio and hit zero and it will deactivate that section for you. Um, the same thing can be done with notes. Um, I find this particularly helpful um, when you're working with drums. Um, so this is just a random drum track that I clicked on um, and already um, you can see there are notes that I grayed out. Um, so we're, let's solo this track. Where are we here? And uh, I'm going to reactivate uh, the same way I would deactivate or reactivate a clip by selecting those and hitting zero. So now they're reactivated and let's have a listen. And when I get rid of those again, um, so it just gives you the option if you wanted to um, take things in and out. Um, you can also just randomly pick one. Um, so it makes it so that you don't lose your work. You've created something and maybe you decide that you do or don't like it, um, but you need to hear certain things certain ways um, to really get a full creative potential. And then rather having to go back and redo it, um, you can just activate or deactivate your clips accordingly. Um, so that's all, folks. That is activating and deactivating clips and notes inside Ableton Live. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.